We didn't bring it back two blocks. What is going on? We didn't bring it back two. It came perfectly up to it a second ago. And now it's not. We only brought it back one. Oh. It actually had to be... Okay, yeah. Yeah, we actually did. Okay, we're going to fix this real quick. What's going on guys? How's it going? And welcome back to some more Skybounds. In today's episode, we're actually going to be putting together a very simple little bit of a mob farm for just miscellaneous different mob spawners so that I can complete challenges a little bit easier. Um, I can go over to Pancakes Island and some other guys' uh, islands that have different mob spawners to uh, do challenges. But I'd like to have one here on my island, judging by I can make money pretty easily now. And uh, I want to be able to not have to rely on anybody else. So that's going to be the plan in today's episode. I think we're just going to slap it down right here. Because I don't want to put it off our last uh, corridor that leads off from our nether hub area in here. Our little island hub. I don't want to put it right there because I'm planning on putting a huge one a little bit later on. Kind of like Pancake has. But for right now I just want to put on, down a really simple one. Like uh, probably right in this area. But yeah, guys, if you are new here, consider subscribing down below and leave me a like. So, let's hop right into the video. Oh yeah, and shout out to Anna Carter. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's uh, start off today's episode by opening up some weekly crates. We're going to start out with the Legend. Actually, yeah, we'll go Ultra. We'll do the Ultra one first and uh, see what we can get here. I forget which one can actually give you a shard. I don't know which one it was. Which one is that? It's a three. All right. Is this one I can give you? A, yeah, a possible immortal shard. Okay, here we go. If I got a shard, I'd be so happy. I still don't have any kits unlocked. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Alright, Orb of Flight. We're going to need that two hour. Yep. We're going to need the Orb of Flight in one second. So, we're going to need some netherrack. I mean, some uh, nether brick. And actually, let's buy some spawners first. Uh, what am I doing? You don't type in spawner, you go to the shop. Okay. So, let's see. We're going to want a zombie. We're going to burn through a lot of cash right here, but it'll be fine. Um, I want a zombie. I want a spider. We have skeletons. We have plenty of skeletons. And... Is that it? I think that's it. Those are the main two mobs I was wanting. We'll get two of each. Would that be fair? Alright, two of each. There we go. That's fine. Uh, we've got two zombies and... Yeah, all these are skeletons. We might put a few skeletons in there just so we can easily kill them instead of having to go down into our grinder that I'm going to hopefully be getting up and running very soon. Okay, um, I'm actually going to need some armor. I don't care. Just grab this and uh, put it on. Just normal armor. That is all we need. Is there anything in here that is worth it? Nope, just iron. Okay. Uh, nether brick. Get off course. Getting off track. Let's get some nether brick and get some more. Out of the nether dealer. Should be enough for now. And we're going to need some buckets of water. So we're just going to take both of those. We're going to make an infinite water source right over here. Um, or a flat that we just got. We're going to pop it. And here we go, okay. All right, I'm just going to build it out here, to be honest. We'll just move it out in this area. Um, don't know how big I'm going to make it. I'm just going to make it a decent size for now. Just bring it on out. Is that a decent size? I don't know. Let's bring out one more, and then we'll just bring it back. Bring it back to the walkway. That's a decent size, right? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. All right, we're going to bring this all the way over here. Perfect. It's roughly a nice little square. We're going to need a floor. So we're going to get all this filled in real quick. All right, we got the floor put in and got a little bit of water source here. And I think this is how tall we're going to make it. That's 10 blocks. That's 10 blocks tall. And I don't know how wide this thing is. Actually, that's 8. If that's flowing eight, um, yeah, we could have made this a lot smaller. 
We could have definitely made this a lot smaller than it is because it's only going to be eight. So, yeah. Actually, I'm going to leave that there so I can kind of get a reference of. Yeah, I think we're just going to bring the wall actually to like right in here, you know? I think right here is going to be how tall we make it. And we're not going to bring it all the way back. Yeah, probably should have thought that through a little bit more, but hey ho, we'll make do with it. Let's get these walls filled in real quick. Okay, we got all the walls done, except for this front one, which I'm just not going to fill in the bottom because I don't know what I'm going to do with hoppers quite yet, to be honest, but I'm just going to get this finished up, this one right here. Then we can put the roof on and make it as dark as we possibly can because... I don't think it should even be a thing where a lot affects like hostile mob spawners. I don't think that should even be a thing because it's a spawner. I don't know why that would affect it, but still, it doesn't make any sense to me. Naturally, spawning mobs should be affected by a lot, but spawners shouldn't. I mean, you ought to be able to put it out anywhere and it will work perfectly fine. Not having to keep it dark like a vanilla Minecraft mob spawner or something. Um, let's actually grab some more nether brick. There we go. Alright. We're going to put a roof on this. And see... It's not perfect. I mean, again, I'm going to build a bigger one in the future. This is just for the time being for challenges. And to kind of test the concept. I built one for uh, Spike King Lucario a while back. I think it was last month or sometime. He hasn't. He's not online anymore. But still, I built one similar to this for him. It works really good. So kind of doing the same concept, same design, but a little bit different, a little bit taller. Because I think I may have built his a little too close down to the water, and it kind of messed with the spawn a little bit. I think it probably was messing with the spawn. I put it so close to water, so I put this a full ten blocks. So I mean, it should work better. Should work better anyway. All right, we're gonna get our water going. Now we have an infinite water source in here. That's a little bit better. And even have to make a water source outside now that I think about it, because you can just do this and have infinite water. But there is that. They're gonna fall in here. Even if they fall, even if they fall on the source block, they're still gonna get pushed. So that is all fine and dandy. Um. Spawner's obviously going to go up there, and actually we probably need to block this up. To be honest, we can hit their feet down below. I think that would be a better idea. Maybe. Like, let's see. Uh, let's get some more blocks going. Like, I mean, even this wall is a little bit, it's, it's fine. Everything will be fine. I think we need to take this floor out, though. This floor needs to be taken out right here. That's where they're all going to fall. And we'll just drop them down like a few blocks, maybe? I don't know how far I want to drop them down. Let's take them down that far. Just to kind of somewhat get them out of the spawn area. Just the general air spawn zone. I mean, it's still going to mess with the spawn cap. They're not that far away to not mess with it, but still. It'll be better, at least. Um, let's see. They're too tall, so... Actually, spiders could be an issue. Spiders could very easily be an issue. Hmm. Slabs. Slabs will be what we do. Slabs will fix our issue. But first, we got to get this finished. This is where they're all going to drop down to. And we will... Where? Why am I stuck? What is going on? What is going on? That was kind of strange. I tried to go down. It wouldn't let me go down. Okay. Um, let's get all this put in to help drown out some of the light. Get this right here. Try to fix this up the best we can. All right. So we got this now. 
Now, if we go, let's see. You can't make slabs in your inventory, so let's go back up here. And actually, we probably have some in storage right over here. Uh, now we'll just craft some. Screw it, we'll just craft some. Um, here we go. There we go, that should be plenty. Alrighty. Yeah, it's not the prettiest thing. It is definitely not the prettiest thing in the world, but it is effective. Should hopefully be effective. Fingers, pro fingers crossed. I don't know how it could go wrong, but whenever I'm building something, things can go wrong. They just can and do a lot, so. Okay, um, spiders won't be able to get out now because of the slab. And the slab will drown out, I think, all light. I think the only reason I'm able to see it right now is because I have my gamma way up for uh, video purposes, but yeah, it should be fine. All right, let's bring this walkway over here and start going up with it. There we go, okay. So we got that. Let's make it two. That is wacky. That is not how I wanted that. Um, there we go. Right there, that's perfect. But we're going to fill this in because it would bother me otherwise. All right. There's our walkway down here. Uh, I'll put a few torches just for the heck of it. Right there. All right. So we're going to walk down here. And this is going to have to be one lower so that it can obviously hit their feet. Our head's going to have to be right here. So this is going to have to go down one farther. So if we stand on this right here, we can hit their feet no problem. Okay. Where's that block that I placed? Yeah. You don't need to be here. And you don't need to be here. Okay. Alrighty. So. I'm not going to put any torches over here, obviously, to uh, minimize the amount of light. The only issue is going to be we're going to need water at either end that I just now realized bring the mobs to me. So let's go up here and see if we can solve that. The slabs that I placed are going to be an issue now. Our def I don't know why there's no water bucket sound on the server. Is, anybody, is that just me? Or what? Okay. That is kind of wacky in the way that it works. But, I mean, it still works. So, we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to leave it be. And take our nice little bit of nether brick and block all this up. There we go. Got a little extra bit right here that we didn't need to build, but hey ho, that's fine. Dude, that is weird. It's, again, it's not pretty. It's not supposed to be pretty, it's supposed to be effective. So, let's go get our spawners and we will test this out. Let's see. Um, got two zombie, two spider, and we'll do two skeleton just to even things out. And I'll have two skeleton to uh, do some challenges. Enderman and the higher tier stuff I'm not going to worry about. Because obviously I'm not going to buy that. And why am I going down here to put in the spawners? I need to go over here. Alright. I love having my gamma turned up, but the issue is you can't see where like things aren't supposed to spawn. I mean, where things are going to spawn. You can't truly see what's dark and what's not is the issue. All right, do we have a center point? I believe that is a center point. So if we follow this up, one, two, three, four. We will put one right here. Hmm, is that far enough over? Three away from everything? I think it should be. All right. One, one, two, three. 
put on the fourth. We'll put three in between each one. So what's going to go here? We'll put spiders. Put two spiders right there. And then one, two, three. Okay, they may not, they may wind up not being evenly spaced. One, two. Yeah, that's too close to a wall. Um, yeah, let's just go right there. We'll put two in between. That's what I do on my other spawners with the skellies. So we got two skellies, and we got that. Not even, but it's effective. Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys are not going to fall down in there. Huh. What happens if I break that? Yep, yep, that's kind of an issue. Okay. Didn't think that through. Okay. We can solve this. We can solve this pretty quickly and easily. We can just block this up. Block all this water up. Come on. Alright. Block up the water. Break this stuff. We can solve this fairly easily. Yeah. I was planning on spiders uh, not escaping at the bottom. I was worried about them getting out at the bottom when I should have been worried about them actually getting in there to begin with. But this will be fine. Stupid ideas. Stupid ideas. Okay. We're just going to back this up a little bit. So, let's see. If we go out, it's obviously going to need to be a floor all the way across. And here we go. Put that right there. And then we're going to need to go get some water. Alright, one, two. There's no water bucket sounds on this server. It drives me crazy. Um, here's that. And then one right there. Alright, this should work out evenly where I can take one, make it a two block gap at the end of the water stream and it not flow down into the thing into our killing area and I'm gonna get some more nether brick to cover this up because I want to keep out as much light as possible even though I don't think you ought to be, have to worry about light with spawners but you do so let's go in here and see if this will work now in the fact that we can actually we brought it back too far now what we didn't bring it back two blocks what is going on we didn't bring it back to it came perfectly up to it a second ago and now it's not We only brought it back one. Oh. It actually had to be... Okay, yeah. Yeah, we actually did. Okay, we're going to fix this real quick. Okay, now it's truly fixed. This should work now. I didn't think about that the block that we're actually taking out that's part of the wall obviously would count as two blocks. So, figured it out, and we got it fixed. Everything says this should work. Okay. Okay, I got really nervous there for a second. Should work now. Just take all this out. And we're going to need to stop these so I can get on here and work without having any issues from mobs. So we're going to completely shut these down super fast. There we go. Who should not be spawning at all now? 
Okay. Shut that. Stop it. End it. Gone forever. Modifications need to be made. Haven't even got the thing built and we're having to modify it. Um, let's see. Let's see. You know what? I'm not going to kill all you. I don't feel like. How many is there? 14? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to kill you guys. I'm just going to shove you out of the world. See ya. Can you go, please? Oh my gosh. Go. Come on. And go. There. And all of you. Way too many spiders. Okay. Let's get this taken out. And expand. Just replicate it. That's all we gotta do is replicate it. Just gotta move it a little bit farther. Out. So let's do this. That's too far. Have a little bite to eat. Alright. So that goes there. That goes there. Let me get rid of that. Need our. How are you spawning? Get out of here. How are you spawning? Makes no sense. Completely covered every area of the spawners with torches. Okay. Um, Alright, let's get all of our blocks to uh, cover all this up the best we can. And hopefully this works. Should hopefully work. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Alright. Now, if we go in here and look, should be a two by gap. Perfect. They fall in here. We can hit them. Perfect. Now we're going to need water. Which means. That's going to be right. Okay. It, it fixed itself. Alright, the, the slabs are making it a little bit wacky, but should be good. Yeah, the slabs are making it a little bit weird, but it should still work. Hope, fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong. Alright, right there, and one right there. And there, my friends, is the center point. So, let's take all these off. Put it all the light. We will go make sure it all works right, and then we will shut this puppy up. We will seal off the entrance. And why am I lagging? What is happening? All right. Holy smokes. Where's my connection gone? Alright. Perfect. This should work. And yes, it does. Getting the drops could be a little bit of an issue, but I'm not really in for the drops. So let's see. Uh, let's use. Just use some good old slay. And just swing. We got three different kinds of mobs in here for challenges. The higher tier mobs we can get later, like skull, uh, not skeletons, Endermen, that sort of thing. How did I level up? Challenge Um, challenge complete. Spider. I didn't even know I had a challenge for that, but okay. See, that was my point. We can do all this right here and be perfectly fine. We don't even need to worry about the drops, or I may try to fix it. Uh, off camera, but I don't really care about the drops at all. What, are, what does Insight do? Does it like give you more XP or something? Isn't that what Insight does? I think that's what it does. I'm about to go check. Because I don't think I've ever had a sword with Insight on it. Except the sword I'm holding right now. Um, let's see. Insight multiply experience drops for mobs by 25% for 15 seconds. Okay. You can die that. Yeah, but uh, works pretty good. 
could be it's is obviously not the best design there's a lot better designs out there and uh, I can ov obviously make a better one if I wanted to it's just right now I don't have time for that just want something really quick and very very simple just to be able to do challenges like I uh, just showed off to you guys. So, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit the bell icon, turn to find when I upload, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.